Welcome to another edition of Entrepreneurs in Fuego, where we're documenting the journey of entrepreneurs one digital footprint at a time. I love it. It is good. And we're, you know what, well, you know what I should do? It's kind of maybe license your, all right, this is Entrepreneurs in Fuego, where we're crushing the box. Let's crush them. Let's do it. What is crushing the box? With me, I have Trey Goodman, man, the box crusher and media yep. power empire. How are <laughs> you doing, brother? I'm doing great. <laughs> well, basically, the concept of crushing your box was that people used to say at our at our production company we own that we think out of the box right and I used to retort back well there's a, there's no box unless you've created one but the right. but but and I, I think that a lot but perception is reality and so a lot of people have boxes they've either been put in by their parents or their friends or their enemies or whoever um, and so they're stuck in these boxes and so I thought well you know we're doing all of these things that everyone says is out of the box. So we're just going to help people crush their boxes. So I just flipped it into crushing your box. So, so in other words, I mean, that could apply also um, for the stereotypes that oh, we absolutely. that we often sure. see yeah. people yeah. in, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you you will look, and, and I think that this is this is uh, a lot of the fault is media, right? Because well, it certainly doesn't help. It doesn't help because you know here we are. We're looking at a, a sitcom. And then you have the very prototypical type of sure. boxes, or yeah. Yeah. in which yeah. this character fits in. Yeah. I'm like, Son yeah. of a bitch. why, why do yeah. we have the hot girl go after the, like the nerdiest guy kind of yeah. thing? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, we, you know, boxes are good or bad. There's some boxes that are good. You know, there's, but but I mean, overall, you need to understand the box that's in front of you, which is another word for it's a challenge. Yeah. And understand it, and then how how to get beyond it, how to defeat it and how to use your creative positive energy. It's really what it's about, and how to work with people who are box crushers. You know, we, we say box crusher nation. There's no borders. Creativity holds no borders. So sometimes when I, people say, I say nation, I go, oh, it's just like the United States. No, no. The whole globe is our box crusher nation. So it doesn't matter where you're from, what you know, religion you are, what Democrat, Republican, none of that matters. What we're talking about is our creative mindset and how we're going to crush boxes, how, how we're going to say like, oh, I want to do something like you did, but how can I do this? You know? So, all right, so, so anybody that is a creative mind. Everybody is, by the way. Everybody is a creative mind. They just, mind. some people don't think they are, they've been told they're not. And so, those people that are creatives, in fact, all of us creative, but that we take that, that extra step yeah. and defy if you will, that stereotypical right. business model, yeah. that a stereotypical yeah. way of doing yeah. things, he or she is a box yeah. crusher. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, once, you, once you've taken that step, which hopefully you've also read the book, then you become a member of the Box Crusher Nation. And I know that you have, so that's what I brought you. Oh. Your own. <laughs> see, you just made me out of the t-shirt. So there you go. You're a certified Son box crusher now. I so appreciate it, my brother. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Because this is, um, this is about your mindset. Absolutely. This that's is about, your, the book is all about your mindset. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Knowing and having the fine art, we're box crushers, we're going against, you're going a little bit of rogue, anti-establishment, you want to be able to crush the box, to crush the existing paradigm. If it's in our way, paradigm. if it's in our way, it will have to be crushed. How do we, as an individual, let's say now, let's, let's say me, how do I realize that I need, and how do I get out of that box if in my mind I am in there? And I know it's a mindset, yes, but how do I change yeah. that? How, well, how do I change that? Honestly, it's... It's all in here, believe it or not, how to do that. Yep. It's, uh, it's sort of step by step, but it's not, this is not seven steps to a better you or lose 20 pounds in 20 days. It's, it is not that. It, it, it chronicles how I was up against all the same issues that most people are right. and how I then sort of had an epiphany and saw, wait a minute, I'm, I'm my own worst enemy. I'm buying into all this noise. Media noise, whatever yeah, noise, yeah, yeah. you know. And it's not—it's not just because this person's lucky. It's because they're actually doing what I need to do. They're doing the right things. Oh. It's, people aren't so much lucky. You know, I always tell people: the harder I work, the luckier I get. People tell me, "Oh, you're so lucky. You're doing this and you're doing that." And it's like, you know what? I buy a lottery ticket, and I would like to be lucky, but I can't wait for that. I can't wait for luck. So you know, it's—it's it's you can, and you will, if, I, you, if you want to. And, and you're making a great distinction because. You're not lucky. You're fortunate. You create yeah, right, and you right, build yeah, a fortune. Right. You just don't. You're lucky you get by by buying but, a lottery ticket. Right. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's cool. If right. I won the lottery, then I'd start a nonprofit and start helping more people. Uh, CYB or crush your box. When or at what point in your life did you realize 
that you were a box crusher? Uh, probably last week. No. No. <laughs> no. It, it, I don't know. It took, it took me a couple of weeks to write the blog. I'm, you know, yeah, exactly. just throwing it out well, right now. You know what? It, it's funny you said that because I never really realized it until people started realizing it. They were calling me out like, well, what's up? Why are you oh, doing it? And because I was just like, this is sort of just how I operate, you know. And what I've seen other people do and I, what I see works and doesn't work. I mean, I watch to see what people do and what works. And not like, though, and then get all angry. Oh, I should have that. I'm like, oh, I see that's how they do it. You know, if you want to be successful, you hang around successful people. That's what I learned. Right. right. You know, so how, what's it cost to hang around successful people? Time. If you're going to hang around somebody, so why don't you hang around successful people instead of people that aren't successful? It's a mindset, right? I, 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 you're successful, so immediately I'm attracted to your personality because it's like you're doing things. You're a box crusher. So we immediately, when I first met you, right? We immediately, immediately were like, it was like, we're like, like old friends. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because we're on the same creative mindset, same creative positive. I'm not in competition with you. You're not in competition with me. The only person I'm in competition with is myself. Plus, plus the fact that we said, if, if we hear somebody else say, think outside the box, we're just going to go, Definitely. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. You know, take, yeah. take, yeah. take. Drastic action but against that individual. This is trying to help people, and I want people to read it and then be better than me. Crushing the Box is an amazing book, and it's a it's a because this is this is a chronicle. It doesn't read like a book per se, but it reads as your personal stories, like you're talking to me. Right. And that's what I like yeah. about it. And it's all yeah. about mindset. Yeah. Now, uh, all right. So, did you have to hit? Because a lot of people, you know, come to the the you know come Jesus moment when they hit bottom and blah blah. Right, right. But did you have to go through that, or was it something where? Did, did you have an epiphany or well, something where, and was it an event? Did you hit a trough where you're like, shit, this is, you know, I've I got to change. I've been turned down more in a bed of Motel 6. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's okay. I mean, it, you know, I, I honestly believe that there's always going to be a yes. I just don't know the number to it. But I believe there's a yes. I mean, if you yeah, knew okay. that you had this big project you're working on and you were 37 yeses, or 37 no's away from getting it, you'd be out tomorrow getting all 37 no's. Sure. Of course you would, because you, sure. sure. you knew where the yes is coming. Sure. The problem is we don't know where the yes is coming, and a lot of times people are talked out of the yes. <laughs> what you're doing, my friend tried that. It never went anywhere. You're wasting your time, right? You know? <laughs> yeah, you know, or they, they talk you Crush out. Or, yeah, or they're like, well, you, you've, already, you, you've already failed 14 times. How many times are you going to fail? Until I get it right. Or I'm dead. Whichever one comes first. I mean, that's what you're here for. You're not here just to not try, not do. Can you teach persistency? Oh, absolutely. I believe you can. If, you're in a, if you understand that you want to get somewhere and you're not sure how to get there, the whole chapter on POV, as we call it, persistence of vision, I think it's very important. But the book's not for everyone because if you want to live in a world with boxes because you're safe and you feel safe, and then that way, you know, I'm just, you know, unfortunate and that's how it's going to be in my life. I'm, un you know, I just I don't have any luck. I'm unfortunate. Then that's the life you live. It doesn't mean that you can crush the box. It just means that you, you're as comfortable where you yeah. are. You don't want to. And you don't want to. You don't want to. You're okay being in the box. It's safe to be in the box. Sometimes you come out of the box. It's a little scary out there. <laughs> <laughs> right? But join other Box Crusher members, right? And, and I'll lean on you if I'm a little scared. Hey, I got this issue I'm working with. Hey, hey man, talk, talk about the reality show that you're doing right now. Oh, for Lolo's? Yeah, you yeah. know, I, I am so blessed that a GCM got, got the project because I love Larry. GCM Lolo is one. your media company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he's an awesome person and, and he does great things for the community. He's got people working for him that have been on the wrong side of the. I mean, it's a tremendous piece that we're being able to do. And uh, he just has in front of him now a contract for to sign for 40 more Lolo's going nationwide. Oh. So Lolo's going to blow up. There's going to be chicken and waffles everywhere. <laughs> and uh, we hope this reality show will take off. And we're just so happy to be able to work with somebody who really is a box pressure. He did not have a lot going for him. He now does. What do you see yourself as? Do you see yourself as a box crusher or as a media guy? How, what, you know, who are you? What I, media is what I do. That's just what I do, but that's not who I am. What we're here to do is to help people. We'll, we'll help people till we're called out to go elsewhere. And, and until then, that's what we're doing. Best advice you're going to give our entrepreneurs today? You know, honestly, I just say read the book. I'm serious, and I'm not trying, you know, the publisher makes more money on me than I do. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm not trying to say, oh, let's buy this so I make money. But it really will open your eyes and it will be helpful. And I put my email address in there because I'm like, hey, we can continue the conversation. It, it is, you know, it, because it's, it's about changing your mindset. It's all about changing your mindset. And I know people go, I've tried that and I can't do it. I go, you haven't tried this. Seriously. Mm. And I've also told people, you buy the book, you don't like it, come find me and I'll buy it back from you. 
Money back. Uh, seriously. Money back guarantee. That's it. Go. That's so. it. That, you yeah. just crushed another bus. Boom. You just, that's it. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> hey, that's what the show's all about, baby. That's what the show's all yeah. about, man. Yeah. You're going to come back uh, with more stories. Because you... <laughs> The, 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 the fun part about this is I get to talk to people like you, man, because it gets me all pumped up and excited. The sad part about it is that we only have yeah. so many minutes I understand. that we, that we, that we oh, do yeah. this. Oh, but oh. you have to come, because you and I could be you know, just telling stories and stories and stories and stories and yeah. stories and, and stories. Help, all the bottom long line way. is helping people. You got it, brother. You got to help people. Are you going to come back and do a little seminar or something, talk about your book, maybe a little book presentation here at the office pod? Whatever you need, we're doing. You're my man. You're a box crusher. There you go. And with that, we're out. <laughs>